in this lecture we will talk about physiologic anatomy of the kidneys as we have started our new chapter about urine formation it is now important to understand the general organization of the kidneys and understand how the kidney is performing its multiple functions so we must know that the kidneys both the kidneys are basically present on the posterior wall of the abdomen outside the peritoneal cavity and each kidney is around 150 gram which is about the size of a clenched fist so an adult person when clenches his fist the kidney is around this size so basically uh, the kidneys are facing each other this is the medial side this is the lateral side and this is basically the right kidney this is the right kidney the left kidney is supposed to be present like this and there is also a dent on the medial aspect of the left kidney and this dent this dent is basically known as the hilum which is also present in the right kidney so there is a dent which is known as the hilum and the hilum basically provides the, uh, or in the hilum there is uh, entrance and exit of a renal artery renal vein uh, lymphatic vessels and a different nerves outside the kidney there, there is a fibrous capsule we see there is a fibrous capsule which is basically present outside the kidney this fibrous capsule and if we cut this kidney longitudinally, this kidney has been cut here. So we see this portion has been cut. Now there are basically, uh, 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 there are two major regions uh, in the kidney. The outer, basically the outer region is called the cortex. The outer uh, region is called the cortex and the inner region is called the medulla. So this outer region, this red color region is called the cortex and this inner region is called the medulla. Now inside the, uh, inside the, medulla there are pyramid pyramid st uh, shaped structure this is basically pyramid shaped structures these are pyramid shaped structures these are pyramid stage st uh, sorry pyramid shaped structures now basically these pyramid shaped structures are full of nephrons nephron now is the functional unit we will discuss in uh, for um, our coming lectures that nephron is the functional unit of kidney which is performing the activities inside the kidney and nephrons are basically present in these pyramid shaped structures now the base of the pyramid the base of the pyramid is basically present at the junction of the cortex and medulla so this is the outer cortex here is the medulla and the at the junction of the cortex and medulla there is the base of the pyramid and pyramid is made of nephrons now the pyramids basically their tip is basically the papilla this is the papilla the tip of the pyramids is basically papilla and these pyramids uh, these papilla basically they empty the urine urine is formed in the kidney and the urine basically is formed in individual nephrons from the individual nephrons they unite together to form the papilla or the tip of the pyramid and the pi uh, the papilla basically empties into the minor calyces these are the minor calyces these are the minor calyces these minor calyces basically empty into major calyces this is the major calyces so in the medulla there are uh, pyramids the pyramids are made of nephrons nephrons are important in urine formation all the nephrons in the pyramid they basically empty at the papilla the papilla basically open into the minor calyces the minor calyces basically open into the major calyces these are the major calyces and the major calyces basically empty into the pelvis of the kidney this is the pelvis and then the pelvis basically em empty or enter the ureter and ureter will take the urine to the bladder urinary bladder and from the bladder through the urethra urine will go out of the body so this is basically the general organization of the kidney we are not going into much detail in this uh, lecture and uh, we have studied that the uh, kidney is around 150 gram and it is equal to the size of a clenched fist normally present on the posterior abdominal wall and if we cut from top to bottom the kidney has two basic components the outer cortex the inner medulla the medulla is basically made of pyramid shaped structures the base of the pyramid is present at the junction of the cortex and medulla the tip of the pyramid basically is the papilla and papilla basically empties into the minor calyces the minor calyces basically empty into the major calyces and the major calyces open into the pelvis and from the pelvis the urine basically goes into the ureter and from the ureter it goes into the urinary bladder and then through the ure urethra it goes out of the body now the medial uh, on the medial aspect of the kidney there is a dent shaped structure this is known as the hilum so that's all about the uh, general organization of the kidney in the next lecture we will study the uh, arterial or renal blood supply thanks a lot for watching the video